86-year-old Herman Coe is getting ready for his dialysis treatment, and all he can think about is a huge loss. Instead of uh, being, uh, keeping yourself depressed, I'll try really to uh, more or less to, to forget it. A caller told him he won $3 million, just pay the taxes and fees, and he could expect a big check. The first time he sent $5,000, but that was just the beginning. When his savings account was empty, the scammers kept hounding him. Since I don't have any more in my savings, so they recommend to also to take the 401k. They say you will get it back because we are representing the government. Of course, that isn't a lie anyway. So I did. He had cashed out his retirement, insurance plans, um, any kind of savings that he had. He had uh, opened a home equity loan. He had maxed out his credit cards. Herman lost a total of $500,000 in the lottery scam, and it still wasn't over. Postal inspectors say the con men convinced him to be a money mule. Other victims would send Mr. Coe their fake payments when they were told they won the lottery too. Really, he was just a filter so that they could launder the money through his accounts and then he would send it up to Canada to the bad guys. Inspectors say the elderly are prime targets for these heartless thugs because it's hard for them to keep track of their finances. Herman's loss was very painful, but his lesson has a lot of value. Now I got after that many phone calls, very bad ones, but uh, I ignore it.